Hello, welcome back. This is question three of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics written in May, June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist, kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics uh, Paper 41, May, June 2024. There are two videos there. Question 3a C equals to 1 over 4xy squared. Find the value of C when X equals to 5 and Y equals to 8. So that would be equals to 1 out of 4. X equals to 5 into Y equals to 8 squared. Okay, so this would be um, 1 out of 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 64. Okay, so 4 in 4, 1. 4 in 6 to 4, that is 16 times. So 5 multiplied by 16, that will be 80. Okay. So remember figure 2, find the positive value of y when c equals to 15 and x equals to 2.4. Okay. So let's substitute the value. C is equals to 15. Okay. That will be 15 equals to 1 out of 4. Then x into bracket 2.4. That's the value of x. Then uh, multiplied by y squared okay so here we can cross multiply okay so that will be or uh, before then you can yes we can cross multiply straight away that will be 15 times 4 that will be 60 equals to 2.4 y squared then we can divide both sides by 2.4 okay 2.4 so this will cancel this Okay, so we are left with y squared equals to 60 divided by 2.4. Okay, so for this one, if you take your calculator, okay, let's take the calculator and do this. So, um, 60 divided by 2.4, okay, that will be 25. Okay, so good. So, we can say y squared equals to 25 so take square root of both sides so y will be equals to plus or minus square root of 25 okay so y will be equals to plus or minus 25 so we need a positive value so y equals to uh sorry uh plus or minus 5 that's the square root of 25 so we need the positive value that will be positive Five. Okay, so that's the final answer. So part B, write as a single fraction in its simplest form. So we need to get the LCM of the denominators. So that would be x minus 1 into 2x plus 5. So let's cross multiply. Okay, so we're going to have 4 into 2x plus 5 the minus 3 into x minus 1. Okay, so if you expand the um, numerator, so you should get 4 times 2x, you have 8x, then plus 4 times 5, 20, then minus 3x plus 3, everything over x minus 1 into 2x plus 5. Okay, so this and this will give us 5x, so you have 5 x then this and this will give us 23 then over x minus 1 into 2x plus 5 so this will be our final answer uh, you may want to expand the uh, denominator as well to have your quadratic expression no troubles but for me i'm good to go i'll just leave it like this so i'll have 5 x plus 23 everything over x minus 1 okay into 2x plus 5 so let's go to part c expand and simplify okay so this will be 2x plus 3 into so the expansion of this is just like when you have something like this if you have a plus b uh, squared for instance and it could be minus anyone so if you have a minus b squared so what you do is square the first one then product of the two multiplied by two then you square the 
second one so that is just the shortcut okay so i'm going to do that here so let's square the first one that is four squared that is 16 product uh, of the two that is minus 4x times 2 that is minus 8x then uh, product of the second one that is uh, square of the second one that is minus x squared that will be plus x squared so that's just a shortcut so we cannot use this to expand these uh, brackets one after the other so 2x times 16 so that will give us 32x okay then 2x times negative 8x so that will be negative 16x squared 2x times uh, s uh, 2x times s squared that will be 2x cubed okay so we'll do the same thing for uh, 3 so 3 times 16 that will be 48 then uh, plus times minus uh, minus 3 times 8x that will be 24x okay then plus 3x squared so uh, let's take the highest power that will be 2x cubed so this and this will give us minus 13x squared okay then uh, this and this will give us plus 8 8x and plus 48 so that will be the final answer so we have 2x cubed minus 13x squared plus 8x plus 48 okay so let's go to the next question that will be part d so we have this expression we have negative index and we have fractional index so this is the same as this minus here i write it as one over then what i have left will be uh, y to the power of a over 16x to the power of 16 so everything to the power of 3 out of 4 okay so the minus is just this one out of okay then here you can approach this in different ways it depends on what you want to do so one thing i want you to know is that this 3 to the power of 4 this power uh, uh, as in power the exponent 3 over 4 is meant for every term here okay so that is we can write this as 1 out of y to the power of a times 3 over 4 over 16 to the power of 1 that is 16 then multiply by 3 out of 4 then x to the power of 16 times 3 out of 4 so that uh, exponent 3 out of 4 is meant for each of the terms here so i can simplify this 4 here 1 4 here 2 i have 2 times 3 6 so that will be equals to 1 out of uh, y to the power of 6 okay then um divided actually instead of writing it like this i can write it in another way so it will be equals to 1 divided by y to the power of 6 okay over so let's do this um we can write 16 as 2 to the power of 4 okay that'll be 16 so it will be uh, 2 to the power of 4 okay let's write it here this is 16 then we have uh, exponent 3 out of 4 okay, i'll come back to this so this will be 4 here 1 4 in 16 is 4 so 4 times 3 that is 12 okay so i'll have x to the power of 12 here so i can cancel out this this four we eliminate the four here so let's scroll down a little bit i have one divided by y to the power of six over uh two to the power of three that's eight then x to the power of 12 okay so this will be one we we'll change this sign of division to multiplication then we we'll flip this fraction that will be 8x to the power of 12 over y to the power of 6 and our final answer is 8x to the power of 12 divided by y to the power of 6 so this will be the end of my solution to question 3 in the next video i will solve question 4 until then have your fingers crossed